sequence of nucleotides following the primer. So we have TGC and then we have TAT, so TAT, then we have GCT, GCT, and the rest of it. So this is basically the five end and this is the three end of this complementary DNA sequence that is complementary to this DNA that we essentially began with. So if we begin with this DNA primer, so the DNA primer contains the five prime end, then we have T, G, C, and then we continue with these. We have T, A, T, then we have G, C, T, then we have A, A, T, G, and C, and, and that's the three end. So let's erase this 1% over here. And that's the three end. And so now that we know what this sequence is, we can determine what the complementary sequence to this original DNA strand is simply by, uh, by base pairing. So this is the three end. So this is A, this is C, G, A, this is T, this is A, C, G, A, T, T, A, C, G, and that's the five end. And so we see that this is exactly what the sequence of this molecule was. So we have a G, we have a C, we have a A, we have T, we have a T, we have A, G, C, we have an A, T, A, then we have a G, C, and A. So we were able to determine exactly what that sequence of that DNA molecule was by using this very effective and very efficient Sanger dideoxy method.